What's up guys, this is Zach Hample for one final day here in spring training. I mentioned that my flight yesterday got canceled. I'm flying out today at four o'clock. So I have the morning and maybe a couple innings of a game later on to pack in as much action as possible. This is Salt River Fields. It's the facility that the Diamondbacks and the Rockies share. You can see the D-backs headquarters behind me. So this is their part of the complex. The Rockies are way over there. Might hit them up in a little bit. Just gonna wander around, see what action we can see, get up close to some players. Then I'm planning to head over to Hohokam Stadium in Mesa, where the Oakland A's play. I've heard that they take BP in the stadium there. We'll get into that later on, but for right now, there's all kinds of stuff happening, even though it's very quiet right here. So, let's do it! Alright, here's a little action over at Field 3 and it's something that you probably won't ever see inside a Major League Stadium. A very specific drill with coaches hitting fungos into the outfield gaps, outfielders chasing those balls down, throwing it in, infielders cutting off those throws, and you got guys running the bases to basically replicate game situations. And if you want to swing over this way, you can see we're in this little cluster of four fields and up behind me there, that's what's called the scouting tower. Now, it doesn't look like there's anybody in it right now, but obviously team personnel can get up there, keep an eye on what's happening everywhere. And it's just cool to see that basically every aspect of the sport is worked on here in spring training. Hey, good day. Good. All right, so that's the Diamondbacks team bus right there. They have an away game today at Camelback Ranch against the Dodgers. The Rockies have the home game here at Salt River. And as I mentioned in a video earlier this week from spring training, teams always work out in the mornings at the practice fields at their own facilities. And then they head over to the main stadium for the game. So you rarely see BP in the actual stadium. But today I think we're going to with the athletics because that's what they do over there. So for right now, since the Rockies are home, they should be working out a little bit later than the D-backs are, so I'm gonna head over to that side and hopefully catch a little BP. On the board right there, that one skipped over the right field wall. The D-backs just started hitting. I'm outside the stadium, as you can see. Probably only have about 10 or 15 minutes here before I head over to Mesa for Oakland. It's about a 20 minute drive. The timing is crazy. So just hopefully get a few more balls coming out in the next little bit. Oh, that's a shot. Right center. Ooh. My second ball of the day right here. And they were both ground rule doubles by Yasmani Tomas, a righty who's going up. Oh, there's a deep one. Is that bouncing over? Ooh, it almost cleared the fence. Wow. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here for now so I do have time to get over and see the A's hit. If you're out here by yourself, you could put up some insane numbers. Um, the setup here is really amazing. That's all I'm going to say for now. Time for some more BP. Cheapest seats for today. Okay, do you need the seats or do you want the home? Oh, uh, whatever's the cheapest. Look out, look out, look out. I didn't want to rob you, but I didn't want to. No, no, it's okay. I, I, I had it. Thanks. You want this one? Thanks. Thanks. You got it. All right, I have found baseball paradise here in Arizona inside Ho Ho Camp Stadium. This is why I left that scene at Salt River Fields, because I was hoping for some live action with all this space on the berm. I've already caught three home runs on the fly, all brand new commemorative Arizona spring training balls, and I think I've only been inside the stadium for about three minutes. This is amazing.
Unreal. Unreal. Way to go. Here it is. Fourth group of batting practice right here getting underway. I've gotten 10 baseballs today, which is the most I've gotten in any one day here. Nice one, cameraman. Thanks, man. These guys up here, these righties, not even sure who, they are crushing it. It's like home run derby here right now. Miss oh. Oh. Judge. No, not really. What are we doing, a little dialogue for the video now? A little play-by-play? -play? Plenty of baseballs to go around today here at Ho-Ho Cam Stadium. This place is a gem. So much fun, so much action. Guys were launching them all over the place. Left field, right field, deep, even off the back fence. Fans were running around scrambling for baseballs on the grass. I love it. I feel like you could pile up even bigger numbers behind some of the practice fields at other facilities, but for me, this is what it's all about, doing it inside of a stadium. Now, when the A's have away games, I don't think they hit inside the main stadium, but if they are home, Man, this is the spot to be. Pretty much any home run that's hit, you have access to. There's bullpens down the right field line, but tons of space to spread out. So I got 11 baseballs here at BP. That's the most fun I've had this whole week out here in Arizona. Definitely worked up a little bit of an appetite, so I'm gonna grab a bite right now and we'll take it from there. Okay, so we have the chicken teriyaki with noodles, some veggies in there all mixed up in the wok. One for me, one for my videographer. I think he earned it today. He was running around with me. He snagged a baseball. I think that should be the rule, right? Every time he snags a ball, I buy him food. Wait, no, then he's gonna be competing with me. Forget it, forget it. This is a one-time opportunity. Anyway, this looks amazing. I'm ready to dig in. Now I gotta impress Brady, I gotta impress my boy. Thank you so much. All right, Oakland Athletics, friendly team, great showing by their fans today. Chris Davis came over to chat for a bit. That was nice talking to him. He said he's gonna check out my YouTube channel. So in addition to him, as the A's are taking the field behind me, I got Dustin Fowler to sign, I got Ryan Dahl, Jarrett Martin, and Chad Pinder on my ticket stubs from today's game. So that's pretty cool. Number 22, third baseman Christian Villanueva. It's the top of the second inning. Padres are up two to nothing. And I'm averaging one ball per inning right now. Marcus Semien, the Oakland A's shortstop, tossed me the ball that ended the first inning down on the first base side. And then in the top of the second, Alan Craig hit this foul ball. Now, you never know how baseballs are gonna ricochet when they land on the roof, on the grandstand at one of these stadiums. You don't know if it's gonna get caught up in a net and stay there, if it's gonna bounce down into the seats, or if it's gonna go over. But if you wanna swing around this way for a moment, you can see there's a guard up there in a purple shirt, and I guess that roof behind me is just totally flat, because the ball landed up there, I ran up the stairs, it trickled down, wide open area, the guard didn't even notice it, I picked it up. So, you know, not extremely eventful, but definitely a whole lot of fun. We'll come back this way and actually get a shot looking up above me for a second because there's this shade structure above with these slats. It's open, you can see the sky. So if foul balls land on this, they can also drop down. 
Now, of course, whenever I'm inside a stadium, I want to find the best spots to catch baseballs. And I want to share that with you guys. So this is it right here at this stadium. Righty foul balls will slice this way. If you go on the other side of the home plate grandstand, lefty foul balls, great opportunity to snag them. It's going to be really tough for me to leave this place. I have about five more minutes and then I've got to get to the airport. It's just been such a fun day. Salt River Field started off there, snagged a couple of balls. Then here, I got 11 in BP and two during the game, so 15 total. I've given most of them away. As I've been mentioning during the week, I don't count spring training baseballs, but it's still just lots of fun to hang out here and run around and try to catch them. So I guess I'm going to leave it at that for now. This is it for me for spring training, probably until next year. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.